Well, hello, commanders, engineers, and city planners. Uncle Jay here. We are back in MechWarrior 5. It's been a little while. I finally updated to the DLC 4. I wanted to wait for all my favorite mods to be updated, patched, and then updated again because I refuse to play vanilla. But ever since that crazy German TTB went over all the different variants, I said, this is the one I want to build. This is going to be a mer monster, and uh, that's what we have here. We're going to go over the build in a little bit, the upgrades and uh, my choices and all that fun stuff. The year, what is the year? The year is like 3167, I believe, in my ever continuing uh, campaign that never ends. And uh, here's just a whole bunch of stuff in cold storage. We won't worry about that. But uh, yeah, let's check out the build. All right, here is our weapon systems. We have Merm 10s in the arms. We have ER medium laser clans, which I just put in recently. We have Merm 30s in the torso or the chest. And then we have one uh, laser clan AMS in the, uh, in the head. So let's look at the, uh, the details. Now, tonnage was a very big problem on this mech. So we have a small cockpit, which saves us a ton. We have clan structural endo and clan feral armor. We have a clan XL engine. Now, I did go up engine sizes. Originally, this has a 260 engine, but it was slow. The mech was slow. We needed speed, so I feel that the weight justifies the engine size for the speed, and it also gave us an extra heat sink, which um which we need. We do we do need these heat sinks, guys. We do need them. Now, I was told I could remove this heat sink with boiling lines. I've never done that before, so I might experiment experiment with that later. All right. Um what else? I had to shave the legs, five points of armor. I shaved one armor off the front and back of the center torso. Cuz so I could fit these half ammo's in and some armor for the arms. I did a mission I lost an arm. I almost lost an arm I should say. Another mission I almost lost a leg. Let's see what else we have. We have a stabilized gyro UL to give us more weight savings. I had a improved jump jet but that was an extra 0.5 ton so I went with a regular jump jet and I feel that this is necessary for this mech so you can do jump attacks shoot over the wall and drop back down to protect yourself. So I don't want to give up the jump jet. Um, I would like to find some shoulder armor. I, I don't have any spare ones laying around and they're in other mechs and I'm not going to hack up builds for this. They're where they need to be. I could drop a half a ton of ammo, get my leg armor back, maybe put some patchwork in here. So I might do that in the future. This, this build right now is the fifth integration, so I have changed it few times all right let's uh let's go over the upgrades all right guys here are the upgrades i went with one fortified structure boosted top speed is kind of like my mainstay in all my upgrades uh weapon warhead damage one uh refined armor two and missile venting two now these originally were ones and i had other things in here but i think having these are more important because I do find myself having heat problems um, with my clicky finger and the uh, definitely been having armor problems because it is a 65 ton mech and I've been uh, playing with the big boys so here are the upgrades and uh, I think we'll just go over the uh, our weapon groups we have on our left mouse button number one our clan ER medium lasers I did have regular lasers, but I just added the ERs. We have our Merm 10s on our arms, which is our right mouse button, and that's on chain fire. So that way we can just send out 10 missiles towards the tank or VTOL or turret. We have our torso or chest weapons, number three, which is my bottom thumb. And that's also in chain fire. And then number four is both of them at the same time. I don't like firing giant alpha groups. Um, I never have. I don't know why, but just how I roll. And um, let's just go over one more thing, and then we're going to uh, get into a mission. 
All right, and this is probably the most important part of the build is it's a Crusader mech and a Crusader mech needs a Crusader paint job, a Crusader paint job color, which is also my colors, which is just a lucky coincidence and uh, a proper Crusader name, which is why we have Genie's Love, not Genie Love, because that would be a porn star. This is definitely a wholesome channel, so we need to keep it wholesome. We could have named it Henry, but I think Jeannie's love fits a lot better. So, she's sending her love out with missiles to your face. Now, now we can go find a battle, hopefully against the clans. So, uh, let's get into it. Alright guys, here we go, into the mission. Camera disappeared, so I'm not in the way. And I guess we should mention that using yet another mech lab, and uh, supporting mods, uh, uh, Von, HUD, and Biome, in case you guys haven't noticed. Alright, here we go. Try to get my guys in here. Of course, I'm going to take all the heat. All right, that rifleman is down. Crossover. Get out of my way. All right, that rifleman is down also. And I think there is something over here, yonder. That's why those lasers are important. Yeah, I um, this new patch that they got going on. Yeah, we need a patch for the patch. Thank you, Rihanna. All right, you guys come with me. Nope, you guys go over there, and I am going to play. I just ordered these. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm going to play hide and seek since uh, the enemy AI seems to have some serious uh, selective targeting. Let our friends soften them up a little bit. AMS is going crazy. Okay, maybe I could have joined that battle. That was, that was a little sad. But you know, it's good to see my guys actually doing their job. I kind of like this hill. Be a nice commander's hill. Oh, I wonder if we have any presents over here. Any goodies? Nope, no goodies. This is actually a good spot to hold. Nice high ground. What do we have? I'm using simple zoom, by the way. I guess I probably should mention that mod also. Come on, where you at, guys? What do we have? We have another rifleman, an Irby rifleman. We need to get that Irby down. And these guys are out of my range, so let me drop down and snake our way through using cover. Hello. Goodbye. Oh man, that game hang up on me. Whew! How's her ammo? Plenty of ammo. And now they have the high ground. A little bit of 
bit of a spread. All right, taken care of. Now, where are these other guys at? Ooh, Phoenix Hawk. All right, let's get into it. Oh, no, let's go for them first. Come to Papa. Too far away. Ooh. You really have a death wish, don't you? <laughs> oh, 60 merms right to the face. Yeah, he wasn't surviving that one. Our armor is holding up, though. All right, we got something over here. I think I could upgrade the sensors a little bit. All right, we have flamer, missiles, AC-10. And yes, the Highlander has a Merm 20s on it, in case you were wondering, that's where those came from. Well, hello there, Irby. All right, he just jumped out of our way. We just missed. Smart Irby. I think we're gonna stay on the other side of this rock. Ah. You are one lucky Irby. Peekaboo. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on legs. There we go. Nope. Pay attention, Uncle Jay. Did I just get an ammo low warning? Nah. Nah. Come on, get out of my way. Get out of my way, Willie. This one is mine. Alright, how much ammo do we have left? Let's say 500 rounds. All right, so I guess that makes up our decision. We cannot drop any ammo. Or no, it's 2,000. Unless that's rank, yeah, 2,000. All right. Hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna stay for a little bit and uh, have a little fun. All right, guys, I think that was a okay test. So let's go over our goodies. What do we have? What do we have that we can pick? We have lots of rifleman parts, that's for sure. And, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Go all the way down the list. All right, let's see. We have, we have, we have only a couple of these parts. Don't have any of these. Um, hunchback parts we have. I have no rifleman parts. Do I have any of these rifleman parts? No, I do not. Uh, weapon groups. Mm, do I want these? No. Do I want these? No. No. Um. See, these are 1.5 tons. Hmm. This I will take. We have five of those. No commandos. Uh, that is a tier three. All right, you know what? Let's just take these. Oh, we can only take one. Okay. And then anything in here is worth a seven. No, 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 no. So how about we just grab a commando part and a jump jet and call it good. Let's take a look at the scorecard. We have five kills, the most damage, the most damage dealt. Followed by the Highlander, four kills, and uh, Cyclops over here with three kills, and the uh, Banshee, uh, hmm, Banshee, bad Banshee. I'm okay with that. 
So that's it for the test and for the mission. I think the next mech I'm going to build is going to be the uh, Hero Crusader. And this is going to be different. It's not going to be a Merm build. Or maybe it could be. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, commanders, engineers, and city planners, this is Uncle Jay.